To help her in her quest, she's equipped with three superpowers. First, an amazing approach to getting about. Portia is a jumping spider. Able to leap up to 50 times her own body length. Nowhere seems beyond her reach. Next, her second superpower, superb eyesight. Essential if she's to distinguish her prey in all this clutter. Because her prey doesn't stray. Portia is a spider-eating spider. This raises a few problems. Her lunch is three times her size. Packed with venom, and surrounded by a sticky trap. Mission impossible? Not at all, because of her third superpower. Portia is a genius. She can map her world in three dimensions and formulate a plan of attack. She can have an idea. The web builder is blind. It won't have a clue that she's coming. Right on target, and safely behind those fangs. But a mind as active as Porsche's can always do with more brain food. Here, there's no anchor point for the abseil. But Portia has another idea. Instead of going to the spider, she will bring the spider to her. She plucks the strands to imitate struggling prey. Drawing the spider in to its death. Spider silk with the scent of a female. He just needs to follow it. Wherever it leads him. Other males have gone on the same quest and have come to a grisly end.
Here's the female, and she doesn't look very amorous. In fact, she kills every male who doesn't match up to her expectations. What can he do to win her over? Dance. Dance for his life. He will need a show-stopping trick to avoid becoming lunch. With his fan unfurled, he begins an ever more complicated series of dance moves to try and seduce her. At last, she succumbs to his advances and allows him to mate with her. He matched her expectations. But she kills him anyway. Right, here's one. Hey. Now, that is a trapdoor spider. Now, these spiders are amazing. They live permanently inside a silk lined tube. And they just make a little lid out of debris and soil and silk. And it fits absolutely perfectly onto that hole. Hidden behind the trapdoor, the spider detects its prey through ultra-sensitive hairs on its legs. When it feels vibration, it springs the trap. So if I get a stick and I just lever it up, you can see, yeah, in there, you see it? Now he's in there, okay? So he, he's gonna wait until an insect crawls past. All we're gonna do now is to sit here and wait. These spiders remain safely hidden day and night. They only risk emerging for a split second under the cover of darkness to snatch their victim. Oh, here's a cricket. Look, look, a, a tree cricket, a very small one. It's just, it's just beneath the lip. It's preening now, it's, it's just millimeters from the edge of the lid and it's it stopped and it's preening its antennae and leg now the lids moved just a fraction so the spider is aware it's there Got it, look at that. Did, did, did you see that? That was so quick. This is just one of the ingenious hunting strategies spiders have evolved. One creature is determined not to miss his chance.
Patagonia's male wandering tarantulas are searching for love. This male spent four years reaching maturity, and in two months, he'll be dead. He's in a serious hurry. He'll barely eat or sleep. This is what he's looking for. Silken threads left by a female, impregnated with her pheromones. Chemical love letters advertising her availability. They lead him to her lair. She can live for 30 years. She's seen many suitors in the past. He taps a seductive rhythm to tempt her out. She replies. For him, this is a very dangerous liaison. He eyes her up. If he's not her type, she'll eat him. But this male has a talent for seduction. He tenderly strokes her body. opening her fangs, allowing him to move closer. He carefully delivers his packet of sperm. During mating, the female falls into a trance-like state. He stays like this for several minutes. He has to make a quick getaway before it wears off. For tarantulas, lingering goodbyes are generally fatal. It's called Darwin's bark spider, and the female has a remarkable strategy. Like a real-life spider woman, she sprays strands of silk in one long, continuous flow. The threads fan out like a sail and drift on air currents blowing across the water. Every few seconds, she crimps the strands together to stop them spreading too widely. The breeze will do the rest blowing the threads into a single line and a 25-metre bridge. Now she must reinforce her bridge because her web will hang from it. But there's something bouncing the line at the other end. Another Darwin spider is trying to take advantage of her hard work. she must deal with the intruder head-on. The cut line is an inconvenience, but no more than that. With hooks on the tips of each leg, she gathers in the thread. It won't go to waste, as she'll eat it later. When it's all reeled in, she sprays again. 
Out streams another 25 meter bridging line. How a spider no bigger than a thumbnail can produce so much silk so quickly has baffled scientists. And it's no ordinary silk. It's the toughest natural fiber on the planet, tougher than steel. And it needs to be tough to span the wide river. With the bridge taut and the ground anchor in place, it's time to construct her trap. orb webs up to two meters wide. A few hours from the first spray of bridging line, the job is done. Now her strategy is simple. Sit and wait. And there's one final bout of silk production. Shrink wrapping her food for later.